the way of our ambitions! No, my power is reversing, head burning up! What's wrong? You look a bit winded. Damn you! I can't fight like this! I demand a rematch! If garbage like you thinks it can defeat me, then come to the battle arena and prove it! Consider this my official invitation. And should you turn me down, I'll make sure the innocents of this town take your place in hell. Do you hear me, garbage? This is my royal command! He got away? involved any more than you already were. Rin, hang in there. No time for questions now. We need to get her someplace safe. Come on, let's take her back to Mogra. She's got some scrapes and bruises, but I don't see any signs of serious injury anywhere. So, Shizuku, you gonna tell us how you know her or what? <sighs> Rin is my younger sister. Right, right, of course, she's your sister. Wait, hold the phone. She's your sister? That was an oddly delayed reaction. So does that make her a Night Eater too? You know, I actually called this one. Just wish I'd have said it out loud. It's like the kind of twist you see on TV. You've got the two sisters at odds, both dealing with some major crisis. And then some bad guy comes in, and they both have to fight him. Really? Uh, Pops, you so didn't call this. Don't even pretend. And wipe that whole smirk off your face. <laughs> Two little sister characters in the same group. This could pose a danger to our identities and create a rift in the fabric of reality. No, I'm fairly certain that it couldn't. Six months ago, Rin ran away from home, but she left a note behind. It was roughly 50 pages long and outlined all her resentment and hatred toward me. It said I no longer had the right to call her sister and proclaimed that she never wanted to see my face again, among other things. 50 pages isn't a note, that's a freaking light novel! Was it her falling out with you that led her to run away from home? Well... Waking up! <sighs> Rin, are you all right? Thank goodness you're awake. I was afraid you might not ever open your eyes again. 
why. I tried so hard to keep you from getting involved. I'm sorry, Rin. I only wanted to know how you truly felt. Sis, I... I'm really sorry. I wanted so much to keep you from getting caught up in my fight. So I wrote all those horrible things. I thought that might have been it. You left me that note so I'd stay away. That must have been very painful for you. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. No, no, I'm the one who should apologize. That was an awful thing for me to do. I just couldn't live with the thought of placing you in harm's way. So I thought... I thought... <laughs> Sis, I'm so sorry. Please, can you ever forgive me? Of course. It'll take more than 50 pages of hatred to bring me down. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'd hold that against her if it were me. Yeah, me too. We'll talk more later. For now, you need to get some rest. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. You say that like you own the place. I mean, not like I'm gonna turn her away or nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, then. I'll take advantage of your hospitality for a while. Um, thank you. So pop idols can be night eaters too, huh? Truth really is stranger than fiction. I'd say they're equally strange and equally ordinary. Hmm? Rin, you're up and about. Yep, a little R&R &R is all I needed to get my strength back. I feel totally fine now. Everyone here at Mogra has been really kind to me. So, thanks once again, from the bottom of my heart. No, no, we don't need to be thanked. It's the least we can do after you've given us so many good times with your lovely music. Oh, well, thanks for that, too. I'm kind of a terrible singer, honestly, but if you enjoy it, that's good enough for me. It's like this Rin and the Pop Idol Rin are two totally different people. Indeed, this Rin is far more courteous. That's because as a Pop Idol, Rin's what you might call a Sundere. Hard on the outside, but soft where it counts. Hard on the outside is right. Seems like all her songs are about the frozen moon staining her heart with madness and other screwy stuff like that. <laughs> That's entirely a stage persona. It's all a carefully rehearsed act. It would have to be. The Rin I know is as gentle and kind as can be. Oh, come on, sis. You're embarrassing me. Uh, all this talk of me being gentle and kind and cute and wise. Uh, I think you added a couple. That's why it shocked me so much when you left me that note. Uh, that was an act too? 
you. I just didn't want you getting mixed up in my problems. But forget about me for a second. Why on earth, of all people, would you make a boy like this your familiar? Hmm? You can only enter into the blood contract once in your entire lifetime. You two are bound by fate now. Forever! I mean, you're this elegant young lady, sis. Don't you think you should have chosen someone a little more... presentable? Oh, that actually makes me rather uncomfortable. When you say that with such a serious look on your face, I almost feel... guilty. Were I to take a familiar, I'd limit myself to sophisticated ladies like my sister, thank you. This young man has come to my aid countless times already. So please try not to say such hurtful things about him. <sighs> Sis... I can't fault you for being kind-hearted. If you want to take pity on some wretched low life, that just shows how compassionate you are. to break up this touching display of emotion, but you've got somebody glaring holes through you right now. If she doesn't say something, she might explode. 